Hi friends, welcome back to TechVasti. In this video, today we will discuss how to set up a Jenkins, which is a build tool, uh, which is an open source automation server, which enables developers to around the world to reliable to create the build, test, uh, deploy application. So basically, it is providing the CI/CD tool suite. Uh, it will help you to configure the different tools. You can use those in your development and up to the deployment to your specific environment. So we'll check how we can set up this in your local uses with the help of our favorite Docker containers platform. So for that, as usual, we have to visit to our official uh, Jenkins uh, website, which we have mentioned hub.docker.com and the Jenkins. Here you will come to know the what is the latest image uh, we have and the different different tags based on your compatibility. You can use those tags. For this tutorial, we are using the latest JDK 11 based the image, which is this one. Let us JDK villain. There is also weekly release you can use, but uh, we are using the most uh, we can say the mature image which we have the latest one JDK 11. Not most mature, but the latest one which we have. So we need to pull that image to save the time. I already pulled the image. We can just verify using Docker images grab Jenkins. So I have an image that is the latest one that's one so to run the command we have we can run the jenkins in your local using this command jenkins docker run or by the port mapping with the two different ports if we wanted to provide the volume to our jenkins then we can provide the volume like this as well we need a volume for our jenkins so we'll be using this command for this tutorial so that we need we need to run the command so basically uh, in this command we have just port mapping as usually name for the local container detach mode and the volume which we have just provided the end image of the our Jenkins image okay it seems it is not taking let me just copy okay yeah we'll run this command we need a uh, logs uh, okay it seems if a name this should work okay uh, here is the correction the name command which we need to update okay it is not taking dash n uh, so docker is running we need to check the logs why we need to check the logs uh, that we will check because we need this initial password which we have the admin password which we need we need to copy that password that will help us to have the uh, or start this setup because even though we run the uh, Jenkins it will not allow us to set up each and everything directly access we need to set up that uh, different plugins and everything for that we need the admin password so if you look here this is the admin password for us so you can use this admin password to initial setup and also if you if you are not able to get here not able to copy you can access from this one as well okay so let me go back to my uh, browser again let me put 8080 as my local Jenkins it will render the screen which is the Jenkins initial setup screen where you need to provide the admin password so that admin password Jenkins internally will use to complete the setup okay let's wait for a moment Jenkins is ready to work Uh, we have the two documentation link uh, here the docker uh, official docker image where they have provided the official documentation image which i'll provide uh, add this links into the description so that it will be easy for you to follow these guides to create the data back the data connection agent you can uh, uh, provide the different different parameters as well yeah friends here is the link uh, to unlock the jenkins we need to provide that initial password which we have just copied and continue so it will give you the new page it will provide the new page where it will ask you to different options like you wanted to set up with the customized plugins or the uh, new plugins 
or oh, sorry the exist uh, it will ask you to customize plugin or the recommended plugins which generally community is using so it will use the, like this option so we need to just provide and we can resume the the uh, this setup so it will take some time to just install all these plugins what are the default uh, set it has given like build timeout uh, the simple LDAP connection or Gradle or OS markup format or login and builder email extension if let's say build is success or failure to send the email git branch sources to create different pipelines different pipeline stage views like uh, let's say you wanted to create uh, <coughs> you have the different different stages in your pipe like build uh, static code scan then build the docker image on our cube scan uh, or different different tools you are using like disk uh, twist lock to have the docker vulnerability scanning so those images you can use so we'll wait for a moment i will pause here so plugin setup it will uh, redirect you to the another screen to create the admin user we can just mention the admin user you can provide whatever the admin username admin at the test.com i just added this one okay so you can mention anything what your favorite or what you what you have in your organization or for your personal usage okay you can just provide the instance configuration save and finish start using the Jenkins so Jenkins is ready so you can apply so in the first option as, as I mentioned we have the two options we can go ahead with the customize option where if you know you need to install set up 10 plugins so you can go ahead choose and install it at the time of initial setup or else uh, you have the community uh, recommended options where you have just high level uh, 10, uh, 10 to 11 uh, plugins which is recommended like git source control and lab email extensions those kind of thing that doesn't mean you cannot install the plugins after the setup you can also install the plugins but you can manage the Jenkins so you can create the different different jobs here like here it, it is providing the options to create a job you can create the job provide your uh, git location it will allow you to create uh, pull the data <coughs> configure let's say you are you are using the different Maven build tool or Gradle build tool, you need to install those plugins. So you can install those plugins, okay, after the setup. And happy uh, to about the Jenkins setup. So you can try out the things in your local so that it will be help you to whenever you have the setup on your uh, on your uh, production environment Jenkins setup so that it will be easy for you to cross check the things you can go ahead in the manage plugins add and remove the plugins set up those plugins so that additional plugins you can set up here available install advanced so check those things you will get no no that's it for now thanks i hope this will be helpful for you